What's happening people? Lo here. Today I got my uh, Pops Ink box version 3 by JK Rasta and uh, Gin Line 3 of Los Angeles, California. Serial number 37. There's the authenticity card with their logo. It came inside a velvet pouch with the uh, stamped logo as well, which is pretty neat. And here we go, the breakdown. It is made of two kinds of wood, Molave wood and Kamagong wood, which is both pretty good solid types of wood it has a two-tone look dark top and bottom nice wood grain body engraving is pretty neat i really liked it you can really uh see what's in there like the skull with a hat i don't know what that means but it has an ohm logo as well right there in the middle it says Paps Inc Los Angeles California pretty pretty deep engraving on this V3 good solid mud internals are copper spring contacts are silver plated it looks like it and it's permanent I mean it's not adjustable it has a I think it's a silicone wrap around the pin so you can't really adjust it like the other box mod that you can push up the pin 510 brass and pin on top recess juice well I really like this feature too because any atomizer you have will sit flush. Will sit flush in this uh, V3, especially my magma. My magma seems shorter if I put it in here because it's gonna, you know, recess sit recessed on the uh, juice well by about I would say three millimeter shorter look on my magma has a heavy duty anti-vandal switch sliding door made out of iron wood pretty tough wood sliding door with two magnets and what else Again, it came with the authenticity card that says this device is for experienced users only. Do not over tighten your atomizer. Build of 0.40 ohms or higher is highly recommended. Anything lower than the suggested rating will be at your own risk. Never ever put your battery in reverse. Reverse polarity. Positive always should be on top facing upwards which uh, with all the boxes you should do that so there's no warranty of course because uh, whatever happens it's it's in your hand unless it's uh, defective uh, when you get it when you got it so there you go solid box wood solid solid wood box more I like it and as usual we're gonna get the voltage drop using my VTC force and my all day vape 0.6 I always get the voltage drop on a 0.6 build uh, because it's not too low and it's not too high uh, it's just in the middle 
a good range of uh, build to get the uh, voltage drop. So, two VTC4s. Point sixty eight on my K fan, and where is my voltmeter? Set this aside. Okay, I'm doing this at my own risk since the uh, voltage meter is wider. I think it's about 23 or 24 millimeter. So when it stops, it doesn't make. Oh, it does. My bad, I'll take it back. So here's the remaining charge of my. Uh, Two VTC4s, 414, on a 0.68 ohm build. The drop is 387, 389, 385. So 387, 411. So that's 13 and 11.2. 24 volt drop on a 0.6 ohm build. Pretty good. Now, there you go. Now the moment of truth. Since it has only uh limit of uh, 0.4 ohm safe build I'll take a risk and use it on a 0.23 ohm build dual coil on a tube atomizer And since it's uh, made by Filipinos, we'll use a Filipino flavor, Toron. Set this aside, put the top cap on the drip tip on put the cap on and move the camera there we go 0.23 ohm on a tow atomizer pops v3 box mod Nine minutes forty seconds. Let's do one more time. One more time. One more time.
there you have it. Pops Inc. Dual Bat Box Mod ver Version 3 by JJ Rasta and Gin Blind 3. Shout out to you guys. You did a very good job on this one. You got it on this version, man. Gotta tell you. Very, very solid mod. Shout out to Bien Reyes for the hookup. Peace out.